Hello friends, hope you are doing good. We had a lot of uh, queries which we got in terms of how to you know, enroll for CISA, what is the process of having CISA uh, you know, uh, certification, how do we get it. So we thought we'll just bring out a, a quick uh, you know, guide on what are the process you need to follow to register for CISA, uh, which is um, you know, ISACA certification. How do you get your certification? What are the process? We thought we'll just bring it up all for you. So the first step, you know, what we have to do, it's a very simple one. You need to go to Isaka and create your account. You can uh, just go to isaka.org, create your account and get it ready. It will hardly take you any time. And so the process which we need to follow is, uh, as I was telling you, go to the site, uh, isaka.org, create your account. Uh, you need to pay your fees, professional membership fees. A lot of people just go directly for examination and they don't take the membership. I would say it uh, doesn't make any sense. If you take the membership, you get the equivalent discount out there. So it's easier out there. <coughs> I would say you should take the membership because it would be something which will help you in terms of going forward with this. And you can get a lot of resources from this account. Third, you need to take the examination. I'll go into deep into this also and explain to you and get your certification done. Please understand there is a difference between CISA exam pass out and CISA certified. There are two different things. You don't get the CISA degree immediately after passing the exam. You pass the exam, then you have to show experience that you have worked for some time in uh, the IS audit field and then you can take that forward. Okay. Uh, so this is the site where you have to go, isaka.org, it will look like that. And I have just filled up you know, some screenshot for you to understand better. You can see it here, you have to fill up all the details, create your account. It's very important you have your account out here because uh, friends, uh, as I told you, there are a lot of resources like Corbett and other things which are free for members and you can actually download the resource and give you more practical exposure in terms of how do we deal with that. Similarly, uh, once you have done it, your account is created, what happens next is uh, we try to go and enroll for, you know, whatever your professional degrees which are already there. You may be a graduate, you may be having some information. So all that information, you should be putting it out here so that it becomes easier for anyone to understand uh, what, uh, you know, background you are coming from, what kind of exposure you have. And it will help you because let, let me give an example. Let's say, for example, if you're a graduate, you get a kind of a, you know, compensatory, you know, uh, off from the five years requirement to be a CISA. So it will help you out there a lot. Then uh, once you have all these things done, you have to do your chapter selection. So after this, uh, you know, experience in terms of doing this. So friends, one of the key thing which we need to understand here very importantly is that uh, chapters always support us in terms of how we take this forward. And it's important we are always associated with them. Moving forward, uh, you know, this is how the fees are. There are membership fees you need to pay uh, depending on right now which point of time you're doing it. Uh, one of the key thing is that even if it is half year, you get a kind of a discount also, you know, in a fee. So you can actually take that benefit. Uh, there is a new num member fee. First time you have to pay it, uh, $10 and a local chapter fee. Here I want to tell you one thing, if you are already a student, let's say you are doing your CA or you are not become a professional yet, you are a student of university or anything, if you show that membership detail, you are, you are getting it confirmed, you can get a big discount around $75 to $80. I'm not exactly sure, it depends from time to time, they keep on changing. But there is a student membership which is also uh, amazingly great. Uh, which you can actually also, you know, take the benefit of your, if you're a student. So just wanted to keep you posted on that. Uh, then, uh, you know, you give yourself about a little bit of uh, enrolling for the examination. So till now you have enrolled for what, what we call it as the, co you know, membership. You have become a member now. Once you have become a member, now you enroll for CISA. So you can actually start with the practice questions, which is there. Uh, you know, you can enroll for the examination, which examination you would like to take depending on whether you would like to do it in person, you know, testing center or remote uh, examination, both the options are available. Uh, so you can actually do it depending on how would you like to, you know, do it. If you are in a remote place, you can have it uh, proctored when someone will be monitoring your examination and all the thing. Or you can go to any of the testing centers which are authorized by ISACA and actually take this examination. So you can enroll for CISA there and take that forward. And here, 
uh, once you're doing it, you know, the examination fees, as you can see the difference out there. If you're a member, it is only $575. And if you're a non-member, it is $760. So there is, uh, you know, whatever the membership fees you have paid it, it is already out there. So uh, that's the reason, uh, reason I always give the suggestion. Don't go for directly the examination fees. Take the membership. You get a lot more benefits out there. There are a lot of uh, interesting information which is helpful for you in a practical way, which you can actually uh, benefit out of that. So that's all you have to do. You have to register and pay the fees. And once you're done, you're ready to give your examination. So we just thought we'll make a very quick, short clip on this and give you all the information. So friends, just to recap, you need to get your membership. You have to give you up your uh, details of your, you know, what we call it as chapter, which you would like to do, go for it. If there is no chapter in your location, it's fine. You can just pay the fees and that's all which is required. Post that, you need to register for CISA, your examinations, and be ready for that. And with all the help of the videos and content like CISA review manual and all the things, you can actually take it up there. Okay, so thank you very much uh, for being part of this journey. And uh, Rajiv and I, we both uh, wish you all the best to go ahead uh, with this journey of uh, becoming a CISA in the time to come. Thank you guys, thank you very much.